Greetings, beautiful people. Guess what I'm doing? Voila. <laughs> Hang on, let me cut this off. I'm uh, painting. I'm getting ready to paint. Remember I told you guys I do so. I paint at least every three years, two to three years. I like to freshen up stuff. So I'm painting in this room, and this is my uh, my little getaway, my little private little space that I like to hang out in. And um, as you can see, I just started doing it. I also already been out and did my thing with the guys and stuff. You know, I fed my people, came home, took me a shower, and guess what? It's still chilly out there. So guess what? I'm painting in pajamas. <laughs> In a big t-shirt. So come on, watch me do a little painting. What y'all doing today, huh? What y'all doing? And see, look, I chose this color. I don't know if y'all can see me. I got on these glasses, but anyway, these are my, um, I'm using these now as my little work glasses. Instead of me painting and doing outside, I'm doing inside. So, and I know y'all guys are saying, Dad, you know, you always doing something. Yes, I am. And you guys should be doing something, too. Y'all should be doing something. You know, there's always something to do, and I like to create. I'm into creating, you know, and making old things look new, you know. So, I'm going to paint this whole, this whole section here, this whole wall today. And I haven't decided on if I'm going to draw anything. Oh, that's one thing that you guys don't even know about me. I like drawing, and I, also, I like to draw, and I also like to paint. Let me show y'all. Y'all might have seen this before. This is one of my pictures. Hang on. One second. One second. This picture right here, this is my latest drawing. I, you might have seen it one time before. I sit on the sofa back here, and you might have seen this in the background. This is one of my little pieces of artwork. But um, I have a lot of little artwork that I be doing when I get the time, you know, because I'm always doing something. You guys need to be doing something. I'm just trying to tell you. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not sure exactly um, where it's going to go, but it's going to be something beautiful. And another thing, I want to talk to you guys about color. Let's talk about color. Uh, you know, every, when you see color, color is really not uh, what you think it is. Uh, and because uh, we all have a, our vision, we see... Through, through our eyes, we see different things as far as color is concerned, right? And I don't need this. I only need these for a reason. I need to put this in. So, um, it's very important that you choose colors that are delightful, colors that are inspiring, colors that uplift you, you know? And you know something? I'm going to tell you all one thing about this color called black. This color black. Don't you know? If you wear those colors, the color black, you attract all of the energy uh, to you when you wear black. Everything is drawn to you. So, if you're going in an environment or to a place, uh, like maybe to the mall, or if you're going to a funeral, you don't want to attract uh, all these different people's emotions. It messes with your vibration. It lowers your vibration. You attract these feelings and emotions of other people that you don't even know. So, and let's get back to a funeral. I know y'all saying, yo, why are you speaking on this funeral stuff? Or this death stuff? Well, it's because it's important to know. All right, we've been taught to wear black at a funeral. Well, <laughs> if you don't want to attract that darkness to you, when I call it darkness, because most of the people at funerals uh, don't have, an, um, don't, don't really have the education to know um, that that person is, body has deteriorated, but they have not, you are drawing all these other people's emotions in, into you. And that's why you feel all sad and all that stuff. Now, if you think what I'm saying is crazy, consider this. When you go to church, have you know how you go to church and everybody at church and they sing your songs and everybody, they clapping. I'm working while I'm talking, of course. Uh, so everybody clapping and, um, you know, they're happy around you then you start feeling these little tingles and sensations in your body and you start picking up their feelings and vibrations. You start feeling their emotions and how they're feeling, which uplifts you, right? Okay? So, if that's the case, and you think it's the Spirit moving you, the Holy Spirit moving you, but you know what's moving you? That's everybody else's emotions you're picking up on. Same thing happens when you go to a club. Everybody in the club, they dance and everybody go, hey, oh, hey. 
and you feeling like everybody all in a good mood, they got a nice little buzz going on, everybody dancing and jamming, and you jam right along with them, you feeling that emotion, see? So if you can feel the same emotions that you feel in the club, at the church, I mean, is the Holy Spirit in there? In the club? <laughs> Why you acting in the fool? <laughs> I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with acting a fool, but everybody needs to act a fool sometimes. Yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, or well, just to show you a little bit of something of what I'm doing, and to let you guys know that y'all need to make some moves every day, not every now and then, but y'all need to make some moves every day. Because this world keeps on turning while you're doing absolutely nothing. And you can also create something beautiful when you move, because that's the, that's the uh, purpose of making something move. That means make something move in your direction, you know? Make something move in your direction. You know, you know get me? But anyway, I'm just going to let y'all see that little bit right there, because I don't like to do too much uh, talking when I'm, uh, when I'm creating, because it's relaxing and soothing to me. And, uh, Right now, I have a very quiet house because everybody just left. <laughs> and my pooches are laying in that bed, actually. They're laying there. They feel sweet. They went outside, did what they had to do, and they came around back in here and jumped in that bed. So they're in that bed, uh, chilling. And on the television, I have, uh, I like watching YouTube. I don't like watching television. I have this gentle music of scenery and animals. So I brought a little bit of the outdoors inside with me. I'm gonna push play on that. Listen to listen to that. I got all my telephone calls out of the way. You know the good morning calls to my family, so that they won't I won't be interrupted. And I'm gonna make some moves and create something beautiful. And I hope that you guys do the same thing. Remember, it's your world. You can make it whatever you want to make it. You live in this world. You are now here. Heaven on earth. Make it that. Make it so. Don't let nobody uh, set the tone for your day. Do you. You. And you alone. Okay? All right. Peace.